All right, hey everybody. First lesson here on the coordinate system. Um, the main thing for this very first lesson that I want you to take away is getting familiar with the vocabulary and what each of these words mean. So there's different ways that you can do that. I would suggest starting by looking at your intro page. I put the vocabulary words for the unit. So that's not just this lesson, the rest of the lessons for this as well at the very top. So I'm going to drag this over. Now this is just my um, paper. Yours is going to look a little different. It'll be right on your lessons page, but you can find this right at the top. It's going to say unit two key vocabulary, and it talks about each of the vocabulary words that are going to be important for you to know. So coordinate grid, or you might just hear it called a grid. That's what we're going to look at when, and talk about when we're thinking about graph paper. Um, I'm going to hold up my thing here. If you can see it, there's little lines here. Usually there's like, it kind of looks like a graph. Um, and that's where generally we're going to answer the questions. That's where we're going to go to plot or put the points on the paper. Um, so that's the first one. Just think of it as graph paper. That's the simplest way to think about it or a grid. The next one is an ordered pair. So that's going to be a set of two numbers that go in a particular order. When we have an order pair, um, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, it's two numbers inside of um, parentheses. So I'm just going to make up two numbers and then I'm going to show. We're going to do one, two. And let me show you what that would look like. So on my video here, this is what an ordered pair would look like. It's inside a set of parentheses and it's different numbers. The numbers will change depending on the question. As we get a little further into these vocabulary words, I'm going to talk about specifically which one's X, which one's Y. The next word, number three, is origin. Origin is the place where something starts or begins. In a coordinate or a graphing type situation, the origin is almost always zero. It starts in that bottom corner. Again, I'll show you visuals of that later. This is just, you just need to remember where it starts. The x-axis, that's going to be our horizontal axis, the one that goes straight across the bottom. You can think of it like a horizon, like you're looking out at the sunset, everything is flat across. It's horizontal. The x-coordinate, so that's going to be the number that goes on that horizontal plane, that horizontal line. So right here, again, I'm bringing back up the example. The x coordinate is always going to come first. So whatever this number right here will always be x. This one will always be y. An easy way to remember that is think about the alphabet. x comes before y, x, y, z. So x is first, just like in the alphabet. So this will always be x. This will always be y. So obviously this one's going to be the y coordinate. Now the y axis is when you're looking at that grid or the graph paper. The y-axis is the one that runs vertical, straight up and down like a tall building. Um, and again, when you start doing the examples, you're going to be able to see this. But it's important that you know which one is x, which one is y, because a lot of the questions that you're going to get are going to ask you things like, what number is on the x-axis? Or where do you plot number 7 on the x-axis? And you're going to have to know which one is x and which one is y, the difference. So again, we'll get into examples with that. It just takes a few times of doing it and then it gets pretty comfortable. Those are the key vocabulary for this lesson. Now let me show you something else. Those vocabulary that's on your intro page, but another thing that is helpful and I would do if I were you is these little word cards. This is in your book, your Envision book. You can also get this virtually if you don't have your book. It's on page 775, okay? So, the reason I like it is because it has a picture with it. So the coordinate grid, obviously, it's just the little graph, the thing that looks like graph paper with the numbers. The x-axis, it shows us here at the bottom. It's pointing to the bottom line. Remember, it's horizontal, like the horizon. The y-axis, vertical line, and it's pointing to it. The origin is at zero. It's always going to be right down here in the bottom corner. Ordered pair, just like I showed you, the, this one is four and two. The x1, x coordinate always comes first, y coordinate always comes second. The reason I like these cards though is because they're visual. Some of us can't just read it and get it, you need to see it. So 
So if you're a visual learner, come to these cards, print them out, get them out of your book, cut them out, you know, put them somewhere special that you're going to be able to easily access them. So that is um, what I want to look at just for this first lesson here. We'll get into some example problems in the next video.